Good morning, my name is Ivana Maldonado and welcome to today's Singing Wind Summer Program. So today we're going to learn how to make some clothes art and specifically I'm going to teach you how to make a planet earth out of only using clothes that you can find in your house. So some materials you will need are blue, light blue, and a dark background um, and some green clothes. So you want to start off by laying a dark background. I'm just using a gray sheet because that's the darkest one I found. But you guys can use any color. And now I'm just laying the big blue sheet. Uh, I just want to make it a circle so it looks like earth. If you guys want an oval or anything, feel free to do that. And you just keep twisting the sheet and tucking it in so it's, it has perfect round edges. Just do your best. It's okay if you can't get it perfectly tucked in. It's okay if it's a little puffed out. It's fine. It's still going to look really cute. Now I'm just taking some of the blue clothes. Oh, the green clothes. I'm sorry. Um, I didn't have a lot of green shirts or anything, so I'm just using towels. So you can find anything green. Even if you guys have green plates, like paper plates, you guys can use that too. But I'm just using cloth. So I'm laying the towels. The trick is to twist them, you know, make them into any shape you want. Any shape that looks like land masses. Just try. Just keep changing. Just keep changing the clothes up. I'm trying to get it right, so I'm just folding them. Now I'm getting another little hand towel and I'm just going to mold that one into another landmass. I'm just trying to make sure that the green stays within the blue edges of my little blue circle. I'm trying to match up the colors. Uh, when I did it the first time, I just used a random uh, bright green t-shirt that I had. Um, but I'm just trying to keep it consistent. Obviously, if you guys don't have the same shade of green, that's fine. It actually looks better if you have different shades of green. So it can create contrast and so it looks more realistic. I'm just rearranging it so it fits in the circle. You know, if you guys don't like how one landmass came out, you know, take it out and then start all over again. Just be creative and use your imagination. So since this was a big towel, I folded it about three times so it doesn't take up so much space and so there's enough blue. And I'm just twisting and folding the edges to try to make it as sharp as possible. You know, when you twist the rag so all the water comes out, if you do that with the rag, it'll come really sharp. The little edges will be sharp. And that's it. That's the final project. Uh, this is a second way to make earth as well if you don't have a big sheet or a solid blue color. Um, you find a bunch of blue shirts, about three or four depending on your size. If they're big shirts, like a large, maybe just three. But if they're small or extra small, maybe four to six. So these are just some large sizes. So I only need about three, four, five, five, five shirts. Three to make the circle and then two more to blend in the colors. 
So once again, I'm just rounding out the edges, making sure it's a nice circle. If you guys can't get a perfect circle, that's fine. Just do your best. This is another color blue because I don't have the same color t-shirts, but it looks just as nice. I'm tucking in the tag so it stays consistent. I'm folding the edges to make that round shape, flattening it out. Now this is where I add the two different color shirts. So I wanted one light blue because I know Earth has some light spots for water. But you guys don't have to use light blue. You guys can use a dark blue, even like a sea green blue. Now I'm laying the other light blue, but it's more it's more of a true blue. And I'm twisting it so it has a little sharp edge in those curves that Earth has. You know, I'm just rearranging it, trying to make it look more like a landmass. Then I went back to the light blue and I'm just twisting it again. This is just some green that I have. Uh, it's not the towels. I found um, some chiffon from a tutu that I found. So it's kind of see-through, but I like the effect. It's fine if your cloth is see-through or whatever you choose to use for the land masses. It doesn't even have to be green. It could be a dark shade of brown even. I like that it's see-through because it's different from the first earth that I made. And it kind of has a 3D effect to it, I feel like. Now I'm just adding more land masses. And remember guys, when you're done with your earth, whether you choose to do earth style number one or number two or do both, remember take a picture but take it from afar. You guys can ask your parents to take a picture for you or you can do it too. Just make sure it's kind of at a distance so you can really see that earth shape to it. My last landmass, I'm just keeping it to three, but you guys can do more than three or less than three too. I'm just twisting it, fixing it, adding an extra one. And there you go. That's how it looks like once you take the picture from afar.